hippity hop little bunnies. It is time for another adventure here on Batam in Indonesia. Today we are going to be check, well, I actually have damaged footage that I shot the days I was on the Rona. So sorry, you're catching me right as I was about to finish editing my video and pop in my blah, blah, blah bit um, to a day when I'm not feeling well and I've just kind of makeup up really quick for you. So forgive me but I'm going to rehash the feelings, the emotions, the beauties of being on the Rona to you as I remember them. Because for me, it is going to be the Airbnb that probably I can ever say will most have changed my life. And I will tell you why later. Before anything, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am Wander with Angela. I put out videos a couple times a week on the best places to eat, drink, play, and stay in Asia. This month, I just moved to Batam. And this Airbnb is why, and you're gonna see in just a second. The Airbnb, honestly, the fact that it's an Airbnb I find so cool. This is the Rona. It is a sailing yacht that was built in 1895. It has a rich and beautiful history. I'm gonna put all that down below. The ship itself is now moored in one of the prettiest little marinas that you can imagine. When you first arrive, you go down the, the, the gangway or the, I don't know, the bridge, and you can see the Rona is the only one with a natural wood mast. You see, I, it's a mast, right? Not a sailing person. Uh, the big sticky thing in the middle of the boat. So all of the rest of them have either dark color or white color, but theirs is wood and it's so pretty and it just lulls you in. So this would be perfect for a couple or for a group who wants a bit of privacy, something different. I slept like a baby, which I wasn't expecting. I didn't know what to expect, but I slept really well. It, there weren't any parties around us, I suppose, if you have a group or a boat next to you that's having a party. Yeah, okay, it might get a little loud for a while, but I slept great the entire time. So the boat has tons of places to lounge. I spent almost all of my time up on deck because to me that was the prettiest place to be. So there's a big dining area there that I, I literally just, that was my hangout. The front of the boat also has uh, lounge beds. As you start to descend into the cabins area, there's also lounge area there that's super Instagrammy and cool. You will love this boat if you're an Instagrammer. Um, and then as you go down, uh, there's an area to do all your charging up. There's a small kitchen, a dining room, kind of a little TV chill out room. Then you have the cabins. There are two bathrooms on board, just one shower. So when you go, I mean, it's, if, if you're going with people, just know it's, it's quite like an intimate setting, um, just based on the limited space that you have, but so magical. So the reason I say that this is the Airbnb that is most, has, will probably have most changed my life is because it's true. Um, I shot this on my second trip to Batam and I had already really felt a connection the first time I was here. I, I, the first time I was here, uh, eight, nine days, and it was great. I really loved it. I, I, I didn't know why yet, but I did. So I rolled up and I think I arrived to the Rona on a Friday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, I don't know. I arrived to the Rona and the first thing I did, I had bought a bottle of wine and duty free and I opened up my pen folds and I sat there and I just took it all in. And you can see from the footage, I mean, it's just a magical place. But then as I sat and all I could hear was the sound of the wind rustling different things. I, the sun was starting to set. I really, I don't know what it was, but there was something magical that was being set in motion. And I just remember thinking, because I'd been really unhappy for a long time in Kuala Lumpur, and there was nothing holding me to Kuala Lumpur except my own limitations. And I remember sitting on the deck with that glass of wine, just thinking, why don't I live here? Why am I living in Kuala Lumpur? And since then, during that trip, sorry, I'm just gonna be real with you. Uh, there's a little bit of sweat rolling down. Well, and after that, I, I met some of the expats. I ended up spending time during that trip 
and by the end of the trip I had decided to move to Batam. Fast forward a couple of months, uh, yeah I'm really late getting my videos out right now, and I have just officially moved to Batam and am loving it. I, I, I'm so happy. Anyway, back to the Rona. So while you're there, the thing that struck me the most, and I have reviewed a lot of hotels, Airbnbs, villas, resorts, boutique hotels, big hotels, it is the place that had the most friendly other guests. And I guess boat people are just crazy friendly and very nice. I wasn't expecting that because every time, you know, I would see someone as I was sitting on the deck and if you even catch like a side glance of someone, like, hi, how you doing? Hey, you know, I'm Ellie and Phil. We're, you know, sailing around the world, da da da. What's your name? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Every single person was crazy friendly. I would always introduce themselves. It's like, I don't know, it just, it feels, very special there and I guess that's a boat people thing not necessarily a Rona thing but it's a really wonderful benefit of that time you'll spend on the Rona now when you're there you're never going to want to leave the marina I mean maybe but I did not I left Kuala Lumpur busy busy city all I wanted to do was sit there in the peace and calm and enjoy that space so the place for you to eat is at the marina at Marina Point. There's a bar that serves up really yummy uh, espresso martinis. I have one of those every night. They also have really fun, um, oh God, I can't remember the name of it now. It's a, like a night markety dinner thing. One of the weekend nights. I'll put all of this down below. And then they are the only place on the entire island with a Sunday brunch, like a boozy Sunday brunch. I looked for hours and I have asked around every single person I know here on Batam. So when I tell you it's the only boozy Sunday brunch, trust me, it is the only boozy Sunday brunch. And it's fun. It's small, the food offering is small, but it's yummy. They also sell bottles of wine there, so I would, if you can't bring enough between however many people you have with you, um, then that is your place to buy it if you don't actually want to leave and go anywhere. They will even deliver to the boat. So if you kind of set it up in advance, you could have them bring you breakfast to the boat. Just pay in advance, tell them what time you want it delivered the next morning. Um, I bet they would do that because they deliver to um, the surrounding area. So of course they would deliver to a boat as well. The Rona is spendy. It's about, well right now with the exchange rate, approximately 320 US dollars per night. But that is for up to, oh God, what is it? Eight people, nine? Because you could fit people in the lounge as well. It's really cheap if you think about it from a group standpoint. As a solo traveler, yeah, a little expensive, I'll admit. So yeah, even as a couple, that might be a little bit expensive but it's special, it's truly special. And the owners are really friendly, they'll reply back to you very quickly. And they're just, I was able to meet them on that Sunday and they were very sweet, so, so, so sweet. Thanks again, guys. <laughs> um, now, I actually made friends with the expat group from that neighborhood. So when I met the owner, I also met this other group and it turns out one of them um, had suggested taking the Rona out. And during that trip, at the very tail end, I actually changed all my travel plans to stay three days longer so I could go the, the following, it was like two weekends later, and go on a sail from Batam to Bintan. Now that was amazing. You can rent the Rona for a day 
or you can rent it for days or weeks as long as it's available. It would be a wonderful way to sail around on an antique sailing yacht that is still in beautiful condition. So I highly recommend the Rona. If you are going just for a night or two and have a couple questions, feel free to ask me down below. I would also really recommend it for a honeymoon to rent and to go for a week because you see those movies of uh, couples that do that and just it looks so lulling and so peaceful and oh, that would be a really magical honeymoon. So anyway guys, if you have any questions, ask them down below. I will see you in my next video, which is also about Batam, so stay tuned guys. Ciao.